All right, so I got some high yield 38 plus I'm gonna put out for these ants. Uh, this stuff works pretty good. Uh, I looked at the label and it is for mounds or let's see, mound drench treatment and fire ant mounds. It says mix 1.6 fluid ounces or three quarter tablespoons of this product to one gallon of spray solution to make a 0.5% spray emulsion. So we're gonna mix up two gallons. So we're gonna have 3.2 ounces of this stuff. It's 38% permethrin, which is what puts in the work. So we're gonna see. I'm about to spray it. Y'all get to see the effects. I got a good bit of ants over here. So we're gonna spray it and watch them disperse so as you can see stuff is pretty milky pretty milky it's good stuff it will clog up a filter if you don't mix it right so just be careful of that if it starts spraying a little slow that filter is probably clogged up it might be my fault I might have mixed it wrong the first time but I clogged it up so just be mindful of that uh, no children or dogs in the area for probably at least two hours until it dries. It has to dry up pretty good. Uh, it might stain your bricks or your siding. Just test it in an inconspicuous spot, like they say. Other than that, I say use away. I'm not a, I'm not licensed or nothing like that. I'm just a homeowner trying to get rid of some ants out here in Sandland. Give it a little shake. Make sure it's all broke up good. Usually makes about half your water and then your chemical, then the rest of your water. Helps mix it together. I already have my water in here. Alright. Got some ant action going on here. We're gonna see what we can do with them. Got a little bit of 38 plus for them. Mm-hmm. See how they like it. Spray it right now and see what happens. About 10 minutes later, there's a few ants, but nothing like it was. Most of them are gone. 